Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, we're on Alberino today, uh, but Alberino not from uh, Spain, not from Rish Bashis in Spain, uh, but from the Russian River Valley uh, in uh, in California. Uh, so, uh, but made by a Spanish family in the form of uh, Marimar Torres. So this is the 2013 Marimar Estate uh, Alberino Estate Grown and Bottled, and as far as I know, um, not been near a barrel. Uh, let's just give it a whirl and see where we get to. It smells like it's going to be quite rich and fleshy, um, uh, and almost uh, peach, slightly cooked peach, slightly when you, when you uh, grill peaches and they get that little bit of caramelisation on the surface, uh, but with a bit of crystallised orange in there. Maybe I don't notice as much of the um, fragrance that I do in Spanish Alberino, uh, but um, it smells appealing. There's a weight, there's a nutty character, there's this juicy peachy fruit. Um, Yes, it smells like almost like uh, someone's got Alberino and maybe put a dollop of uh, quite ripe, sh fleshy Chardonnay in there. But then when you think it's going to, it's going to end up just that little bit fleshy. The finish um, goes nice and dry. Um, I like that. It's what, it feels like one of those wines that you would sit there and go, mm, "I sort of like this. I sort of like this," and then go, "Oh." The bottle is empty. Um, I think it's 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 um, it's 2013, uh, so it, it's not, it's not as if it uh, needs time to come out of its shell. But I think even so, I think if you put, would pour a glass of that and uh, flavours would develop in the glass. I think you might might get some of those more um, herby aromas coming through. So maybe I will uh, give this glass a whirl later on with some seafood and uh, see what happens to it. At the moment, it's looking good, but I think there's even more uh, for it to give. So I will wait for it to give. See you soon.